What's up, what's up guys, Eagle Shock back with a new series that I had in mind. I've been trying to plan this for a little while. So pretty much you're gonna be doing hockey team mystery packs. So in each video, we'll be doing one team per pack. And the card in the background is very, is very important because if the cards in the pack have a higher value, this card goes for sale. If they aren't, you guys get to pick which card you guys want from the mystery pack, whether it's from all teams ranging. So it'll be interesting to see what we get. And obviously a lot of these teams are pretty good. Unless I say otherwise in the video, everything would be for sale. Unless I want to keep it for the personal collection because I don't have many cards in, from that team. But yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Just want to guys give you a, a bit. This will be a bit of a longer video given that I wanted to explain everything at the beginning. And so that you guys know for future videos in case there's a team you specifically want to collect. Or there's a card you see that you like. Uh, maybe we can work out a deal or we can trade the cards, whichever. So... Not every team, I, I obviously it's already open because I didn't know what it was for, but um, not every team has instructions on it, like the, the odds. So for this team, for Anaheim, so pretty much as it says, a uh, hockey card lot with two jersey stick hits. So uh, I think there was a chance of an auto and it was 20 bucks because I got a better deal. And obviously I'll be mentioning the prices as well to see if we, we made a we made our money's worth or if not there. So without further ado, let me just fold this paper out of my way and uh, let's begin. So to start us off, we have a UD game jersey of Ryan Getzlav, who I believe is re retiring or is retiring after the end of this season. And then after we got a pack of them, okay. Let me open that up for you guys. So. First cards from Artifacts, we have uh, Scott Niederminer. So this is 0809 Artifacts, pretty long time ago. We have a Ryan Getzloff Red Die Cut from Tim's, 2019-2020, okay. Not bad. We have, ooh, we have a Gibson. Or no, this is a Gear um, Ice from, uh, obviously. Ducks, this is from 0708 Ice. We have a Corey Perry Pinnacle. I didn't realize they made Corey per Panini. Oh, Panini. That's why. 2011, okay. Because normally when I think Pinnacle, I think like late 90s. We have just a Ryan Kessler base from Series 1. What, you, what Series 1 is it? 16, 17. That was, I'm pretty sure his heart year. Or his heart money did pretty good. So we have a very nice looking card here. So we have a Peter... Zvikora. This is from Chrome's. Wow. Man, too bad it's Chrome's. Chrome should come back. Okay. Gibson. Another Gibson. There's not, you can tell there's not many players that have a lot of value. Nick Ritchie. UD Portrait. Oh, UD Rookie Portrait. It's not bad. I mean, not good. Not a great player. Paul Korea. Oh, Silver Sheets. There's a really nice looking card here. And then we have a... A victory rookie of Peter Holland. And then the last card we have here is a Guy Hubert from, I'm not really sure, from the front there. So this is Titanium 2001 from Pacific. Okay. Really interesting look there. And it has the, the retro uh, jersey. So yeah, it's pretty much it for this video. So. Obviously, I'd say like there's a few cards that are better than this card, but if you guys want that one or a card in here, let me know. So yeah, just to recap, uh, so the cards we got, and obviously if there's a card you guys want or need for a collection, let me know, and we can work something out. But uh, everything will be here for sale if you guys want any of them. But yeah, pretty much. So given that there are higher cards in here, you guys can has for that one uh but that's pretty much it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed the new concept let me know how what you guys think of it and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace